Hello, my dear friends, dear friends. Once again, I am back with the summary of one more novel of Thomas Hardy and the novel that I am here with is very, very important novel. And the title of this novel is Tests of the Durbervilles. Very, very important novel of Thomas Hardy. So let's look at some very important fact related to this novel. And after that, we'll go through the summary of this novel. So let's begin. Tests of the Durbervilles. Remember this. This is the pronunciation. Tests of the Durbervilles. This is the main title of this novel and a pure woman is the subtitle of this novel remember this first of all this novel was published in the illustrated newspaper of england that was the graphic remember that in the year 1891 and remember the same year the novel was published in book form in three volumes remember that first the novel was published in the illustrated very famous just a newspaper of england the graphic 1891 and the same year same year the novel was published in book form in three volumes the novel challenged the sexual moral of late Victorian. Remember that. Now, let's look at the summary of this novel. Tess Derby Field. Remember, she is the eponymous character. She is the title character of the novel. Why? Because she is the protagonist of this novel. She is the central woman character of this novel. When the novel begins, we get to know that Tess Derby Field is a 16-year-old girl. Tess Derby Field is 16 year daughter of john derby field see remember the names names are very very important B just uh, from competition point of view so the father of tess derby field is john derby field he is a haggler whereas name of tess mother is john Re sorry john remember that When told by a, look, a local Parsian, Parsian you can say that uh, actually uh, priest, he descended from just uh, descended from Durberville. One day actually just uh, Tess father is told by the local Persian that actually he gets his lineage from that normal, from that ancient normal Norman family with the surname Derby Field, sorry Der Derberville, Derberville's actually just this person, the father actually of Tess. Uh, Derby Field becomes so excited and over enthusiastic. And in that over excitement, what happened? He drinks and drinks and drinks and celebrates his lineage. See, he descends from the Derberville. An ancient normal family, he drinks and celebrates. Tess drives to market in her dad's place. So see, since Tess 
Jesus' father gets drunk. Now he cannot go to the market. He cannot drive the cart or the wagon drawn by the horse to the market. Why? Because he's drunk and is celebrating. So being the eldest just a sibling, Tess, a 16-year-old girl, decides to go to the market to do to do the just uh, to do the business but uh, to do the work in the place of her father so she drives the wagon she drives the wagon to the what to the market but at a certain time she she dozes she just uh, slips into a kind of slumber a short sleep and in that short sleep that is called slumber what happens her wagon crashes and in that crash in that accident the only horse of the house that is probably named prince is killed and since this only wagon being drawn by the horse was a means of earning for the family now the family lands in a kind of trouble this young girl of 16 feels guilty she is guilt-ridden and so she decides to do something she decides to take up some job she goes out in the search of the job to support her family so see what what she does so see, when told, oh, sorry, this Tess drives to market in her dad's place, falls asleep at trains when managing the horse. The, the rope that is used for controlling the horse is called reins. The wagon crashes and the only family horse that is probably Prince dies, means he's killed. The horse is killed. She feels guilty goes to Mrs. Durberville, a rich widow, to claim kin. Why? Because she gets to know that she, she just, uh, she descended from that ancient normal family, Derby, sorry, Durbeville. So, there is a rich widow, just a, uh, very close to the house or the residence of Tess. So now she goes to her. She goes to that woman, that rich widow, to claim her, to claim, to claim kin, to claim that she is actually also a Durbeville. Durbeville. See that. To Mrs. Durbeville. A rich widow to claim kin, kin relation or relative, unaware that her late husband's husband Simon Stoke adapted the surname to distance himself from his trades tradesman's roots. So when she comes to this this uh, rich uh, widow. Durberville, Mrs. Durberville, she gets to know, she gets to know from her that actually her husband, her late husband, her dead husband just adopted this surname. Why? Because he wanted to get rid of his tradesman roots. Actually, he descended from a family that was a kind of a business business uh, that descended from that lineage that uh, that actually just did business. So tradesman roots. He actually descended from a trade tradesman root and since he was not happy at all with that surname he gave it up and adopted the surname what Durbervilles she explains 
she explains the just this very particular young woman that my dear just my dear girl or my dear just a daughter you can say that unfortunately we are not the we are not the devils actually my late husband adopted it why because he felt embarrassed because of being descended from that lineage that was tradesman roots or tradesman lineage <clears throat> Alec, her son is drawn to her and offers her a job as his mom's old poultry keeper. And Alec Doverville, remember, son to Mrs. Doverville, a rich widow, he gets attracted, he draws. He draws towards this young, just a 16 year old girl, and now he offers her a job as a poultry keeper to his mother. <clears throat> he offers. Why? Because somehow he wants to get close to this young girl that is Tess. So he finds her a job, he gives her a job job of keeping the poultry of her mother see offers her a job as his mom's poultry keeper one night takes her on his horse pretending to save her from fight and the flowers or the flowers her and one night since he is interested somehow he wants to get close to this young girl there is Tess. So one night he pretends, he pretends that since there is a fight, somehow a fight or you can say a dispute or a, a kind of a, a kind of a bad situation just uh, crops up there and uh, and he pretends that since he pretends and pretending he says to just uh, test that see actually he, here you are not safe come and sit on my horse and I will take you to this safe place so he he makes us sit on his horse and takes her to a lonesome place and taking the advantage of Taking the advantage of this young girl, he somehow deflowers this girl. The flower somehow it won't be say. Yes, somehow uh, we can say that somehow he ravishes, ravishes this young girl. He deprived this young girl of her virginity. In simple words, we can say that somehow he rapes. Tess, a 16 year old girl. Tess does not say anything to this. She does not let any family member, she does not let any family member know about this tragedy, this accident, this horrific just happening. And she keeps her, she keeps herself mum. See what happens. One night takes her on his horse pretending to save her from fight and the flowers her means rapes her. The following summer gives birth to a sick babe. The following summer here she remember this and see unfortunately since she is unfortunate since in Hari's novel, fate and chance play very, very important role or fate and chance plays very important role. Here same happens. She is raped or ravished by Alec and she gets pregnant 
and in the following summer she gives birth of a sick baby boy now she cannot go to the church to christen it means to get the baby baptized or to get the baby to get the baby con to co to get the baby conformed to christianity and to get to get the name of the baby so she herself names the sick baby and calls the baby sorrow that very soon dies see the following summer she this is she so following summer she gives birth she gives birth to a sick baby boy and names sorrow who later dies so see after this incident many years rule one year one year after the other so many years some more years pass fly years roll she finds job of a milkmaid at tell both is dairy and falls for angel clare a farmer starting dairy management so after that tragic incident she got pregnant delivered a baby baby boy in summer and that baby boy was named sorrow and later that baby boy died after that one year after the other some more years passed this young girl finds a job of a milkmaid at at a dairy name telbo this dairy there at that place where she is working as or where she has been working as a milkmaid there she comes across a young man a young a young farmer that is angel clare who has been learning there who has been learning how to who has been learning dairy management there there this milkmaid tess and angel clare an apprentice learning how to manage a dairy come close and fall in love with each other see a farmer studying dairy management angel's father a clergyman angel clare clare's father is a clergyman see and when angel tells his father that actually he wants to marry a girl by the name tess who is a milkmaid he is surprised he is surprised that his his son is going to marry his son wants to marry a milkmaid but since this is the new location this is a new place where nobody knows about that tragedy that shocking incident or happening that happened to her here nobody knows at this dairy nobody knows that when tess was 16 years old she was raped by a man alec doberwell here nobody knows so though angel father is surprised that his son wants to marry a milkmaid but he thinks that this woman this young girl is pure she is virgin so he gives his consent to their marriage now before the marriage this woman tries to tries to tell angel about her history many times she tries but this way or that way he says please don't share with me whatever you want after the wedding after the marriage so see angel's father clergyman allows their marriage feeling 
not be if not be feeling not not to be pure she is unwilling but at la, but at last gives in so she feels that she is not pure at all why because she knows that how she was ravished by alec so now she is reluctant she does not want to say yes to the marriage but she at last gives in she gives her yes she agrees she tries to tell him her past but he says after marriage so she tries her best to to let angel know about her horrific past her past history but he says no tell me whatever you want but after the wedding after the marriage they went and honeymoon when he tells this is tells remember when he tells her of his affair with an older woman she shares her own so here after the after the honeymoon one day maybe it is the night time they are sitting together first of all just a angel clear shares his own past affair with an older woman she gets confident she does not have any issue at all fine past is past she feels encouraged and confident thinking that if she shares her own history her own past her own shocking past he will also take it in a normal manner he will to take it in a normal manner and she shares she tells him about that shocking incident in which she was ravished and it is very much shocking it is very very much shocking for this young angel claire his apple and he at once decides to break all his ties with this young woman and after spending a few days the couple get separated they separate the path their ways the certes uh, gets back her home and angel goes to brazil to to do farming or to learn farming particularly do farming see they separate after that because he's appled tess returns home he goes to brazil to try farming there her family exhaust the fund she got from angel here when just angel starts for brazil to do farming he gives certain amount of money to just uh, tess tess with that amount of money comes home and just somehow manages the family for for certain period of time but very soon they find themselves out of money there is no money to run the family to run the kitchen of the family so again this woman test being senior being just older or elder in the siblings decides to get out to find some job to support the family so see test she got from angel she is forced to take field work now she decides to she is forced she has no way to to take field she has no way but to take field work at farm of flint com ash so now she starts working at the farm of flint com ash the names are important alec though he knows though alec knows that this woman is not a maiden she is married yet he 
pursues he chases her she gets she gets to know from her sister that parents are sick that her parents are sick she goes home dad dies but mom is mother survives so now she has been working she has become a farm worker at flintcomb ash still just alec is chasing her still alec wants to wants to have relation with this woman though he knows that she is married yet he is bothering her in the meantime one day she gets the just she get the news of the sickness of her parents from her from her younger sister lisa lu so at once she just as once she rushes home in the due course her mother survives her mother recovers but father dies see dad dies but mother survives poor family evicted from her place and now this poor family poor family evicted from their place not her t h so poor family evicted from their place they have to vacate because they cannot pay the rent so they have to leave the place angels venture fails see and angels work their farming in brazil fails and angel also thinks about just uh, things about his behavior with tess back in england he feels very sad and sorry and now he wants to now he wants to now he wants to apologize now he wants to get back to his own wife he comes searches a lot and after a lot of search he at last at last meets his wife but too late by that time she has become mrs dubbles see in this venture fails he feels sorry for tess gets back to her but late for she is mrs dubbel now in a heated argument tess stabs zelek to death and one day there is a heated argument and in that heated is a kind of a scuffle first argument then argument just uh, leads to a kind of you can say quarrel or fight or scuffle and in that scuffle and fight just uh, test loses a uh, loses a mental balance and in that anger and to some extent we can say that frustration she picks up the knife and runs it straight through the body of alec she stabs alec to death and after this she runs after angel they spend a few days away trying to just trying to get away from the reach of the police administration but one morning when they wake up they they are found surrounded by the authority she is arrested but before arrest or before being executed hanged she makes a personal plea or request to angel clare to look after his his sorry to look after her younger sister lisa lu and and probably her her mother see what happens in the end of the novel she is hanged angel and lisa lu are seen going hand in hand when the novel ends and in the end of the novel we see 
Alex, sorry, Angel, Claire and Lisa, Lou, younger sister to Tess are seen walking hand in hand when this this novel ends so i hope my dear friends you must have enjoyed and understood this very particular summary of this novel test of double well thank you and follow for more my dear learners